guys, what's going on? Zach here, congrats to you today in Raid Shadow Legends. I am not alone. Cold Brew Gaming, it's been a while, man. How you doing? Welcome to the channel. <laughs> hey, man, it it has been a while. I can't remember the last time we did a collab together, but I'm so excited that we're back again chatting about this new dungeon. Yeah, it's dude. The, it's the right time. It's the perfect time to come back and just... Uh, Talk about everything that the community has to think about the new dungeon. Talk about strategies, what we do, what they should do. They can do whatever they want, but yeah, <laughs> we yeah. try to help them out. <laughs> no, nah, absolutely, man. And we, we've given it, a, you know, a day or two now. So at least we have some semblance of like what our own strategies are going to be. And I'm sure, you know, maybe we'll bring you back on, talk more about it, you know, a week or two down the line. But I want to give my subscribers, my viewers, a good idea. We're also going to do a, a collab on your channel after this. So guys, if right. you don't, uh, if you aren't subscribed to Cold Brew, I should say, dude, you're missing out, man, because you have so much great content. A lot of great. I mean, I don't want to say this because like maybe you're sick of this, but like you're the Armager guy to me, man. You have so many great <laughs> Armager videos and stuff like that. But I'll have a link to uh, to Cold Brew's channel in the description below for you guys as well. Cold Brew, give me your take on the. Uh, I mean, we haven't spoken in a while, so just give me your take before yeah. we get into our strategy. We're going to talk about the, the 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 dungeon strategy, guys, and also the artifact strategy, like how we're using our oil and stuff. But before that, what are your thoughts on the entire you know new dungeon and update in general? Uh, well, the new dungeon is it's just it's good it's good in the sense that it's more new content. That's what we want to see in the game. We want challenging content where it's a puzzle, right? The, the game is a puzzle to us. We have all these champions and we're trying to fit them into the right positions, the right gear, and make them work so we we finish the puzzle that, that the player puts up, right? That is the whole idea with this game. Of course, this is a more difficult, difficult the most difficult puzzle we had so yes. far. It's it's crazy difficult, especially on the final difficulties and uh, the final stages. After stage 16, it becomes crazy, okay? It becomes crazy, and it's not expected to be um, doable by everyone out there. Even on my account, I'm having issues on stage 25, which I consider my account same game with. Yeah. yeah. So so it's it's fine, but it's also not fine. I feel I feel offended if I cannot clear it at a faster time. <laughs> that's, that's the same. thing. <laughs> same, man. Isn't it kind of weird to... I mean, it's been a while since something was added to the game that right. doesn't have... That isn't limited by keys. Isn't it kind of weird mm -hmm. that like you could just farm it and just like upgrade all your artifacts on your account if you wanted to, if you had enough energy? Yeah, yeah. It's it's weird. Um, I'm not mad it, it about it. It's up, just weird. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it it opens up an, an, a thing we didn't have when we were uh, around that stage when we you first open up this dungeon we didn't have this availability there okay I might go in and farm you know a hundred of those lesser oils and then start going with my ascensions on my gear yeah and we didn't well, have that in our you know thinking process of upgrading our account. So before we get, let, let's start there, actually. Let's start for, because, right. you know, this is going to change depending on where you are in the game and stuff like that. So let's talk about newer players. How would you advise newer players approach uh, allocating their energy from the Sand Devils Necropolis to, to upgrade and send their artifacts versus just getting the artifacts to begin with, you know, like Dragon's Lair or whatever? Yeah, so <laughs> newer players out there, the the, the Anybody who's under level 40, level 50, and is already struggling with, let's say, the Dragon Dungeon, shouldn't worry about the Sand Devils and the Crop So that's a, a big portion of the beginners. Maybe somebody just started playing, has uh, started the game because of Ronda, the new login champion, the new big promotion by Raid. Mm -hmm. They should be focusing on just getting more and more pieces of gear because that's how they put them up on their all of their champions and slowly get them stronger in that way. If you're not on that part, then you start going in with ascensions. If it's those little bit of stats that you're looking for, you will not go the whole way with ascensions because of the big energy cost. Because again, you still get more upgrades by getting six star gear or mm -hmm. over five star gear. Although random, it's it's still better to go for gear. But for ascensions, you, you should focus on, if you're a, a newer player, to maybe up to stage seven is what I would say. And then... Maybe stop around there and just farm that. Stage 7 allows you to farm the lesser oils, which those are basically um, only needed for the first two stars of Ascension for any rank gear. So rank 4, rank 5, rank 6. Rank 4 gear, I don't recommend Ascending because it's a waste of energy. And rank 4 gear is easily replaceable. So rank 5 and rank 6 is what you will consider. And you can do the, the maybe the 1 star or the 2 star if it's like a really good piece for the lesser oils. 
After mm -hmm. that, we go into the heavy um, investment of energy ca category where you need the greater oils and you need more and more and more. So you would really have to decide on your own if you're a spender maybe and you have that freely available energy to say, okay, I might get my gear to three or four star ascension, which is where you use your greater oils. After that, that's after stage 17 of the dungeon, of the new dungeon, where you get the superior oils. That becomes the really difficult to clear um, territory. And that's where you need those superior oils to get your gear to five and six star ascension. So I would say just worry about the lesser oils. If you really want to send your gear, just start upgrading them, see the RNG part of it. Yes. And go on from there. So if you have the dungeon open up, you're level 35, I would still focus on maybe your best gear. But other than that, just getting upgrading your gear in general with your energy, because energy now has become this like super finite resource because you need it everywhere now, uh, as well as the Iron Twins. And one mistake that I made, uh, Cold Brew, in terms of my strategy, I don't know what your strategy is, but this is what I'm doing. Like Early on, I tried to pick my best piece and I was like, all right. I am going to max it out, you know, I'm going to max it out. And then I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a dumb, dumb, dumb idea. Instead, I want to go to every single, basically, I'm starting with my clan boss team and my arena team, right? Those champions that I basically value the highest because that's where I spend the most of my time in the, in the game. Personally, it's Hydra clan boss and arena, right? So I go to those champions that should have some of my best gear on my account, and then I just ascend one level. So like I'll upgrade one level right now, ascend one level because the dumbest thing I feel like you can do is just use the auto ascend, right? Like nobody should be doing this unless I'm missing something, no, no, right? No, no, no you're a hundred percent correct with, with the way that you thinking um, about going in this and the fact that you need to start the, the one star ascending each piece of gear, no matter because what, because you don't know what you're yeah. going to get. There's like six or seven options for the lower pieces of gear, so the, the gloves, chest, boots. So there's multiple choices there. And the RNG is uh, obviously, you know, one out of six to get what you're really looking for. So maybe critical damage or attack percent, which is good for, let's say, your Tranda. Like what I did is what exactly you did. I went for my, my MVPs of my account. I went for my Tranda's gear, which I, I think is my best Savage Cruel. I went mm -hmm. with my Acrisia which is my best max oh, yeah. HP I'm jealous. damage dealer. <laughs> Do you have her? No, I want her no. so bad, oh. man. <laughs> God, I went for the last two 10 times and now Dulles, uh, let's move it up. Move the conversation along here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I went for her gear. I yeah. hope you get her. Okay. I hope you get her. We went for, I went for her Cold gear. Cobra's over here like then... my, my, my fully uh, uh, ascended <laughs> uh, six-star blessing, uh, fully empowered. <laughs> I'm like, what? I just want one, man. Now, okay. So, so you went to your best champions, your most used champions champions started with their best exactly. pieces the the best pieces and the pieces which i thought would i would see the most value out of getting that ascension in so an attack percent on tranda or a critical damage boost would be amazing for her um i got critical damage on on her on the gloves which was lucky but all the other ones were not what i was looking for so defense percent or flat defense stuff like that so i didn't get um, you know, good rolls. And it's good that I only went for the one star because I only used up my lesser oils and not yes. the, the ones that take more and more energy. So you have to be careful. So for that reason, this is my big advice, right? And it might be pretty obvious yeah, yeah. given what we said already. But for that reason, man, like I, I, I cleared higher stages, right? Have not cleared 25 without using Nogdar yet, but I, I haven't worked that long at it either. I'm sure I can put a team together. Hopefully, but with all that said, and I've saw it actually on the Reddit, I saw some like man eater unkillable teams with a light sworn like clearing it. So there's gonna be like an unkillable meta as well, even though it uh, you need to revive on death as well on the team. But with all that said, I'm I, like I'm most interested right now in the lesser oils, like because I want to yeah. go through basically all of my artifacts on all of my good champions and ascend them to level one. You know, and that's not too costly in when it comes to the energy cost there. And then I get to actually see what I'm going to get before I invest further. And then I'll worry about the, uh, you know, the graders and superiors after that. Are you using the same strategy there? Yeah, yeah. I I'm, I'm using the exact same strategy of, of just, you know, using my energy when I have it. I'll, I'll do the, the, the lower part of the gear, which I think is more of the RNG, just, to, just because I want to see what I'm going to get. I, yeah. I want to see what I'm, I'll get. <laughs> it's, exactly. It's just the curiousness is me. It's not. It's not going to be game changing for me to 
to get something good anyway, but I just want to see my luck. Uh, because it's, let, let me give you an example. Like Chunda, as I said, she got critical damage on the gloves. That's an, a 2% on the one star, the six star gear. So it's not amazing, but uh, you know, I felt I felt happy. But that no, I that dude, at least. it's not yeah. amazing, but it does add up, you know, like not, not yeah. just min maxing either. Like to me, it's just, if you do it for all your artifacts, uh, you know, you're going to be pretty, pretty substantial upgrade, especially if you're able to f eventually fully ascend them. My question to you is, is do you prioritize any certain artifact uh, slot, like the top row, or the bottom row, like the percentage gear, or the gauntlets, for a, whatever, or do you just go for whatever has the good substats already? Well, um, me personally, I think the best thing to hope for when going for your gear is to try and roll the lower pieces. And the reason that I'm saying this is to get, let's say, the critical rate upgrade through the Ascension. Mm -hmm. That is actually huge because that allows you to possibly with multiple upgrades of ascension on that piece of gear to just uh, allow you to put in a different piece on on a different slot and then get you know higher critical damage higher attack because of critical rate critical rate is limited to 100 percent, right mm -hmm. so if you can get another five percent because of ascension it means it opens up maybe another um slot to be filled by a different piece and that is huge it's not the same as critical damage because it's it, it, it opens up a lot of possibilities. Well, critical damage is nice to have another 20%. I, I, I believe that's the biggest upgrade that you're looking for, especially for damage dealers. For supports, it's pretty obvious that you're looking for maybe defense percent, HP percent, and speed, Yep. which are on the lower pieces. On the upper pieces, I wouldn't go for the supports because basically there, you're looking for defense and HP which and health, which is okay, but... Um, I would just go. It's with more min maxing lesser. at that point, right? It's like yeah, because yeah, I have hundreds a of champions, right? Yeah, so yeah. so I I won't prioritize my supports. Maybe their yeah. speed boots. I'll prioritize. Just do the boots, and then go to the next support. Do the boots. Uh, but but that's that's my thinking at least. Yep. No, I totally agree with you. We're on the same page there. If you guys have any different strategies or thoughts, go ahead and let us know in the in the comments. Uh, before we get onto our teams that we're currently using, Cold Brew, tell me about this Artifact Ascension Cost an Analyzer here. Uh, I'm going to link this, by the way, for all you guys so you can have this uh, handy. Uh, Cold Brew put out a video utilizing this as well uh, or showing this off as well. But I guess without getting super nitty gritty, man, high level, what does this mean and how can this chart be useful to uh, my viewers? So uh, this is a very basic analysis of what you get in terms of potions per energy. That's what you need to worry about. The, the final three columns where you see the dark green is where it's the most optimal and where it's red is you shouldn't go for that stage. So a big example is stage seven for lesser oils per energy spend. Stage seven is the most efficient one because what you wanna, uh, what you wanna do is do the, the easiest difficulty with the lower cost plus be you know, as quick as possible, you want all of it. And that is the actual best stage for that. Uh, we have a very close one being stage 11, as you see from that, that, that uh, picture that I sent you, it's 0 0.73 compared to 0 0.75. So okay. stage 11 is also very good because you also get the chance for greater oils. And then as you go down the list, the, the, the chances go up or down, depending on what you're looking for and which pieces. Um, you'll be uh, hoping to upgrade, let's say, a, a five-star ascension. You'll need the superior one, so you'll have to look at the, the stages which drop, actually, uh, the superior oils. So 7 and, and that, 11 that, is where it's at, basically, you know, for most of 7 I, and 11 yeah. is where it's at for the majority of players, yes, I would yes. say. A okay, good great. majority of players. Well, I will have, as I mentioned, I'll have this uh, linked for you guys. Really, really good uh, resource there along with the video in the description below. Uh, but let's get to the teams, man. My viewers have been seeing the same uh, <laughs> pay-to-win team in the background over and over again because I'm running... Basically, I figured the easiest kind of auto team that I could just set it and forget it and not worry about anything, which is mm. Mother Cybel in Cardial. It could be Sky Touch Shaman, who I think is incredible for this dungeon as well with the heals and the revive on death. Uh, but I'm running Mother Cybel and Cardial as a double revive on death team. And then I got Siffy because of her A1. Uh, and then I have Shagur as my debuffer slash damage dealer with Bad Alcazar. So we got the poison kind of synergy there. That's my OP uh, team, which still cannot beat stage 25, by the way. Uh, what team are you using? Obviously, there's much easier, more like, I guess, 
free-to-play friendly or less whalish teams that can get by stage seven easily and, uh, well, I guess define easily, yeah. right? This dungeon's really hard. But what team are you using and what are some champions that you really, really love? I made a video, I'm sure you probably have too, about uh, Muck Stalker, like how good he is mm -hmm. in this dungeon. Who are your, some of your faves? That, well, first of all, who's your main team right now? And then who's some of your favorite champions? So, um, unfortunately, for the people watching, I'm not using a free-to-play team. I'm not using <laughs> Armature in this one. It's, it's, it's unfortunate that um, our, our commons have become less and less powerful because of, you know, empowerments and all mm -hmm. that. But it, it's fine. It's fine playing. I'll find other champions to play with. Um, I am using a, a, a similar, uh, you know, heavy in terms of legendary ch um, champions. Yeah. I am using a Crisia Sifi. I am using Riho though, um, yes, because of all the, the amount, yeah, all the debuffs that she does. That allows for when the sleep is on to apply a good amount of debuffs. She applies uh, five debuffs, if I remember correctly. So that's yep. fifty percent of the damage mitigation just gone. So you, you can do fifty percent more damage just because of those, plus the decreased defense, plus the weaken. And I have my Acrisia, which which she does crazy amounts of damage. I have CP for the sleep. I have Kaimar for resets and sleep. And then I also um, run Mo um, Mother Cybele because of the reviving, because you need it on the, the final difficulty to revive your team right before the start of the run. And then ensure that the, the sleep debuff is at all times to keep the boss asleep and, and, and be able to take it down. But it's a long run. It's not a quick run. Okay. Uh, how, long, how, long you, how long is it taking you roughly? And what stage are you farming personally? Uh, my my clear time for 25, which I did multiple times, like my first one was about six and a half minutes, then five minutes. My best run so far is four and a half minutes for 25. But I've decided that if I'm going to be ever farming heavily for the superior ones, I'll be going for 24. Um, okay. Since there, uh, you know, Prince Karma is, is not weak affinity. He yeah. can actually sleep the boss as well. Um, I won't have issues with affinity there. And um, I can even use Mox Stalker if I want in there because of because of the affinity. Sifi is, is great uh, and all, but Mox Stalker has a two turn duration sleep, which is um, amazing. So if I can go away with needing Sifi, if I can make a team um, that can revive my champions all the time, maybe with a revive and death, then uh, I won't need Sifi for that you know emergency revive that she has. And I'll use somebody else for uh, for sleep, and that two turn sleep is is so so crucial. I don't want to put you on the spot here, uh, Cold Brew, because I don't know the answer. But <laughs> do you know the uh, what is the accuracy people should be aiming for on like their muck stalkers or their sleep champions uh, for like stage seven, eleven, and twenty five or twenty four, like for the end game in the dungeon versus like the most optimal stages to farm. You're lucky because I know the answer. Ah, I knew you would. I knew you would, Kolru. <laughs> I, was, I was looking for it uh, the other day. Um, I have a guy who does the data mine, and he was uh, kind enough to share the information with me. So starting with the most difficult one. So you guys watching know what you should be aiming for and upgrading your great hole bonuses for the accuracy and resistances and all that. It's for 25, you need the minimum, I would say, for 535 to even 600. I have 600 of mine. I, I keep seeing resist. So no wonder I'm so, not beating stage 25. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need. I tried the same team on on auto, but like I probably have like 350 to 450 range mm -hmm. on these champions, and it's not working out. So I'm like, okay, I'll do this later. Okay, so you need. If I heard you correct, 550 plus. 550 to be on the safer side because the boss okay. has 500 resistance, right? Okay. So so you need. You don't need the exact same, but you need a little bit over if it's. Um, you know, your, your accuracy versus the boss's resistance. You need a little bit more than that. Okay. And uh, just dropping down to, let's say, stage 20, you need about 450. And then stage 15, about 350. So wow, the, the, the difficulty is there. And yeah. I mean, even on stage 7, you need about 200 accuracy. On stage 7, which okay. if you compare it to the normal dungeons, um, like you 70 need 200 accurate, 80. Stage. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you need 200 for, um, for stage 20. So it, it, the difficulty difference is, is, is quite obvious. 
Thank you for the answer. I'm sure my viewers will find that super helpful. My final question for you, Cole Brew, is I saw a few content creators out there speculating, not even speculating, basically saying they'll put money on this dungeon getting a nerf, uh, making it easier in the near future. Where do you stand on that? Because it is supposed to be the most difficult content in the game. They said that. Uh, do you think they're going to nerf it? Um, No. I don't I, think they'll nerf it. I kind of agree with you. I kind of agree with you. You know, I don't. I don't think they don't nerf it because they want the. Because um, I've seen teams already clearing stage twenty five at forty seconds. Wow, 40 what, seconds, team? <laughs> Dash. That, what team? What team? No, it was it was uh, triple Acrisia. Ah, uh, <laughs> of <Bell>. course. <sighs> <sighs> okay, and, uh, and Rico, I think triple okay. Acrisia in insanity. <laughs> of course, but that is so. So imagine your your biggest whales seeing that video. That somebody posts, they will be like, "Oh, I need a second Acris. I need a third Acrisia." So they'll be spending. So, it, it, you know, being Platinum, okay, yeah. how can we make money? You know, you have the, the right wealth, idea. <laughs> and, right? Yeah. Um, in, in terms of, of of difficulty, I mean, the Iron Twins did not get a nerf, did they? they actually, uh, no, they got a buff. A bit. Yeah, because the unkillable. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so if they didn't bother um, nerfing that one, why would they? they bother nerfing this one which is just launch and um it does have its bugs so i'd rather them fix the bugs first and then worry about maybe making it um making it a, a little bit different what that what i want to see is a buff to the drop rates a little bit maybe higher amount of of oils yep. per energy spent because the the total amount you need is a bit too much you need like a hundred oh, yeah. of the lesser oil you need um for I'm one artifact sure. You know, for one artifact, yeah, a hundred of those, and then uh, no, it's a hundred and forty of the lesser oils for a six star, a uh, hundred for the greater ones, and then fifty of the superior ones. So it's a good chunk of energy that you'll need to spend for one item. For one and item, then yeah. Multiply that by you know the the hundreds of items you have equipped. It's it's just it seems it seems crazy to even uh, yeah. start thinking about all, getting all that energy. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. You guys can probably see on the screen right now. I'll move it over a little bit, but yeah, a uh, hundred and fifty to take it to six, and I'm already have it at two. So yeah, it's gonna be that's gonna be very very costly. All right, hey Cold Brew, let's go talk on your channel a little bit more about our favorite champions for this new dungeon. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you guys for watching till the end. Uh, see you over there, Cold Brew. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, take care.